Today I'm going to take my bicycle, my Pedego, down to the city of Santa Barbara. And I'm going to ride down State Street and out onto Stearns Wharf. Santa Barbara is a beautiful city. I've been living in this town since 1975 and this is the first of several excursions that I'm going to do down there because there are so many things to see in Santa Barbara. So let's go for a ride. So here we are now on State Street. This is the upper part of the downtown part of State Street. On the right, you'll start to see a tower over to the right. That is part of the Arlington Theater. Beautiful theater in Santa Barbara. I can show you the inside of that theater. It looks like you're sitting outdoors in an outdoor Spanish plaza under the stars, but that's actually all indoors. Notice the architecture on the left and right side of the auditorium. I watched the first Star Wars film, Episode Four in this theater and then continuing on further down state street to the left you can see granada theater that tall building that's been beautifully restored in recent years they put a lot of money into that theater look at the inside of this theater that's what it looks like now this used to be just a movie theater i saw the first superman film here but now they use this for performances musicals concerts this is my favorite view, the view from the stage, because I used to be an actor, stage actor. I look at the audience from the stage. Okay, continuing on down State Street. I can't show you much to the left over there. That's the Santa Barbara Art Museum, but it's all covered up. They're doing some kind of construction work over there. I don't know what's going on. When I first moved to Santa Barbara, the joke about the city was that its main industry was banking because there was a bank on every corner. Now we say the main industry is eating because everywhere you look there's a restaurant. When friends come to town, we walk down State Street and look for a restaurant that might be interesting. On the corner that used to be a bank to the right. I don't know what that is now. But there are a lot of good restaurants in this city. And it's a beautiful city. I love to be uh, on State Street, whether riding or bicycling or walking down State Street. I don't come here too often, but there are some good stores here. Over to the right is the Italian Pottery Outlet. I go in there and I look at their clearance racks. Because if something is too ugly to sell, chances are it'll look very good in a photograph. To the left is what used to be Borders Books. I think that's a Marshall's. To La Table, to the right, another place where I look at their clearance racks. Some of the items you see in my videos were purchased from either of those two stores because the prices are good. And again, if it's too ugly for someone to buy, it looks good in the photograph. If there's one of Santa Barbara's what looks like a trolley. That's a bus, obviously. I don't know whether they're like clean air buses, whether they're electric. Say in the Nuevo to the right. That's an outdoor mall. And if you look at the chalk on the road down there, they close this street down once a week for a few hours and this is a, um, they turned it into a farmer's market. Speaking of which, there's the berry man. He's almost always at the farmer's markets. To the right is what used to be Macy's. If you look at the doors over there, you can see they're papered over. That's one of the unfortunate things about what's happening in Santa Barbara is a lot of the stores are closing out. We just passed by an art store that's closing out. Joe's Cafe to the left, they're still there. Santa Barbara City is trying to do what it can to preserve some of the shopping downtown. They're trying to refurbish downtown to restore some of the shopping. On the back of this trolley, you get to see a picture of a koala. That's Santa Barbara Zoo. The shopping in a lot of cities has declined because of the dot-com businesses. I order things from Amazon or um, Home Depot. I can check Home Depot, I can check um, Best Buy to see whether they have the item I'm looking for inside the store locally. Coming up on the underpasses, at one time, when I first moved to this town, the, the 101 freeway, which is going overhead, stopped here. It turned into 
intersections with traffic signals. And I mean, all the way from L.A. to San Jose, this was the one place where there were traffic signals. They fixed it with bridges. You can't see it very well, but to the right is the Enterprise Fish Company. It's a brick building. In Douglas Adams' book, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, Arthur Dent eats in a Santa Barbara seafood restaurant that looks like it was built inside of a warehouse. It's not a warehouse. That was built inside of a building that at one time was the laundry that did the linens, towels, and um, sheets for the local hotels in Santa Barbara. That was like back in the 1800s. Enterprise Fish Company has been there for a long time. We're coming up now to the very end of State Street to Cabrillo Boulevard. We're going to stop here for the light and then cross over because we're going to go over onto Stern's Wharf. All right, light is green. We can go. In the center there is the dolphin sculpture, and it's a fountain. I don't know if it's running today. Ubiquitous in Santa Barbara, those pedal carts, you can rent them. And this is the beach, and we're entering onto Stern's Wharf. And I have to say, this is one of the roughest surfaces to ride on on a bicycle. It feels like you're biking over cobbles. Woman there with a selfie. <laughs> some of it's okay. They've replaced some of the planking with um, newer, smoother planking, but a lot of it is worn out. It'll be replaced. They do sections at a time. Some of this uh, area was lost at one time many years ago when they had a fire down here. The Harbor Restaurant to the right, I've eaten there. I won two free tickets to a Sunday buffet, and it was really good. It's rather an expensive restaurant they even have on the wharf. They have their own valet parking. And then continuing on down further. Oh, and by the way, to the left, you can't see it very well. There's a maritime museum over there. As I was saying, there was a fire, and a lot of these buildings were destroyed. Part of the wharf was destroyed. It took a long time, but they restored the wharf. And a lot of this is now back to where it used to be. It's a very popular tourist destination, as you can see by the number of people and the number of cars that are out here. To the left, that red-looking building, that's where I'm going to be stopping for lunch. This is public parking down here. They actually park cars on the wharf. And coming up, this is Moby Dick Restaurant. I don't think I've eaten in there. I might have. There was a while when we were trying different restaurants in the area to see which ones had the best fish and chips. I'm going to take you to another part of Santa Barbara in another video. And I might, if I remember, show you the fish and chips place their restaurant where they serve good fish and chips. And then down toward the end over there is another seafood restaurant and I believe they have live catch in there. So crab and lobster that you can order. I have not tried it. I'm getting off my bike here and I'm going to walk because the sign over there says no vehicles and I don't want to get in any trouble down here. I'm going to walk down right to the end of the wharf and then show you what it looks like from the end of the wharf. Look how calm that water is today. It, it's like lake water. It's so calm. I can't believe it. That right in front of us is the breakwater. I'm going to bicycle out there someday. And then that's the Santa Barbara Harbor kayakers out there. There must be some sort of a kayak club that's meeting and doing some kayaking. Santa Barbara City College is over there. That's the Santa Barbara Mesa area. As I continue to pan around, there's the west side of Santa Barbara and there's the wharf. 
that we just bicycled all the way out onto. I'm going to go over to the other side of the wharf, show you the east side. Beautiful, again, just beautiful calm water. Sometimes the waves are really high here, so high that they sometimes close, uh, like they'll close the breakwater if the waves are, are pounding and uh, coming over, or at least water is splashing over the breakwater. A little view of the kayakers out there. And then panning around to the east side, San Inez Mountains, the beach over there. I love this area. I've been living in Santa Barbara since 1975 and I really do love it here. And here we are back at Char West. This is where I'm going to get my fish and chips. Walking through and looking for a table where I might sit in the shade. I eventually found one. And of course, a nice view of the Pacific Ocean. So here we are, Char West. Let's go inside and order the fish and chips. This is the view from my table where I'm going to be eating at until I can sit in the shade. That wire there you see on the railing is to keep the birds off the railing because the seagulls will get on there and they'll steal your food if you don't keep an eye on them. So that keeps the seagulls away. Again, a beautiful look of the west side of Santa Barbara, the San Inez Mountains, and there's my lunch. It doesn't look like much on that large tray, but that's two large pieces of fish and a generous helping of french fries. And now here we are biking back along the wharf to head back home. I'm not going to go all the way home today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop in Santa Barbara and visit Pat, who owns the Pedago dealership in Santa Barbara, just to say hi to him if he's not too busy. So this is the, again, the end of the wharf where we came out onto it. Another one of the ubiquitous pedal carts. That's a two-seater. The other one was a four-seater. And there again, a look at the dolphin's sculpture. So there you have it. A nice fun ride down State Street in the city of Santa Barbara. It's a beautiful city. And this is one of many rides that I'm going to do down there because there are so many nice places to see in Santa Barbara. For example, I want to stop at a park. I think it's called Alice Keck Park. I could be wrong about that, but it's got a turtle pond in it. Lots of turtles in there. I think it would be fun to go to that park. And there's historic sites. I can go up on the Mesa. I can go down toward the zoo. Beautiful things to see in Santa Barbara. So keep coming back. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Tell others about it. Click the like button. And thanks for watching.